Hey, what's up guys? This is Jay from COI. Um, so, to update the situation on the coronavirus, um, we, we're just seeing the numbers basically double um, almost daily. Um, or, and like I said, almost double. Um, for a lot of us in this country, it hasn't hit us yet. And we're kind of lucky with that. So, I'm going to tell you, number one, the big thing to be on the lookout for, and we'll find out apparently tomorrow at 5 o'clock, the White House will be holding a press conference, another one. And in, expect to see those a lot. you know. So don't don't get too freaked out about that. They're just letting us know what's going on. They did such a horrible job for the last two weeks of letting us know. Um, but the big thing is, is the mobile testing sites. Because that means they have a lot more tests, and the more tests we have, the more quarantining we can do, and the better that will be. Like that's really what has to happen. Um, and and that it does give a lot of people pause, and as it kind of should. Um, and and I just wanted to say that we heard different reports on Friday from President Trump. He said that uh, Google was working on this website that was going to tell people where uh, they could uh, find mobile testing sites. But then Google came out a couple hours later and said, no, we're not working on this. Uh, our parent, uh, sister company is, and they're not close to being done. So we have a lot of conflicting reports. I think uh, the, the thing to really watch out for is, is tomorrow and to find out where they're at with these mobile testing sites. Now, moving on past that, um, there's a lot of people who are around my age range and we kind of just feel helpless we don't know what to do uh, we've been through a lot my generation uh, any of you who are in that like 30 to 40 age range you know what I'm talking about I mean we had 9-11 as soon as we got out of high school the market crashed as soon as we got out of college um, and, and now this so one thing you can say we can bounce back and we can handle these situations and we can take them and do better with them. Uh, I remember when 9-11 happened, I was like, ah, this is never going to affect me. It's not a big deal. Sure enough, within three months, I was laid off from my job. And three months after that, I was help helping organize one of the biggest protests against the Iraq war in the country, honestly, in, in Kansas City, which is one of the biggest ones that we had. And especially in the Midwest. So all of these things, we don't think it's going to affect us. It ends up affecting us massively. And I think, especially if I'm talking to any of my more like progressive friends or people who are on the new right, this is our time in a lot of ways. Uh, we have been telling the senior citizens and the elderly that we want more power we want more control we want more say in how this is going to run we have this idea of this government that we have in our mind and all they really heard from us is we want tax we we, we want um we want tax increases and we want better social safety nets and for them they don't understand exactly what that means and we can show them we have this opportunity right now to take leadership roles in our own communities and show them that what we're really talking about is not freebies for everybody. It's being more conscientious of our communities and building our communities and strengthening that. And and that's what we're talking about. And we can take this time um, to come together and we can take this time as younger people who can get out and we can be amongst some of this stuff and we're okay you know sure some of us uh, as we we do things we we might end up getting quarantined the most important thing though is to be active in this especially around like i say our age and, and you don't have to be outside of your house to be active uh, one thing that i'm gonna do and I, i'm i'm working with a few people to set up around here is a temporary service where we go and get groceries for the elderly people in our community and yeah maybe the people who are going to do it uh maybe they're progressives and maybe they're going to be wearing bernie sanders shirts or whatever we're not going to talk their ear off and we're all going to wear masks and we're, we're going to handle everything appropriately but maybe just show them 
hey, these are the people who care. These are the people that are trying to help. Those are the community builders. And we, we all have this time, political or not political, we have this opportunity to show that we can we can be a substantial part of our own communities. Uh, if you are a person who your job has been quarantined or you've been laid off or things like that where you can't, you know, you, you really can't work, but maybe you can still get out. Doing things like this around your community is really going to help. Yeah, the economy is so volatile right now and uncertain, you may not have an opportunity to, to get a job or to make money, and that's, that's scary. But I guarantee you, if you take two to five hours a day working within your community, getting groceries for the elderly people, um, helping, you know, we're still in, in different different parts of the country of different problems, but solving these problems and helping work with people is going to be honestly as a selfish aspect it's going to be good on your resume and it's going to show your community and it's going to show employers that you have a drive within you and it's it's going to work out better for you in the long run on top of that if you're like me and you're in you know you got your head sunk in the news because maybe you do radio or you do a podcast like this or whatever or you're just a person who's really interested in the news um this will also give you purpose and it it'll kind of allow you to to feel like you have a little bit of control over what's going on and we all know we don't but it'll give you a different purpose and it, it's real scary for a lot of people. And as scared as you might be and as nervous as you might be, you know, the senior citizens of our of, of our communities and our, and our country are terrified right now. And, yeah, they, I mean, look, I, I get it. And, and there's a lot of people who are calling this the boomer remover. And that rhetoric doesn't help, guys. It really doesn't. Um, if we want them to to be on our side, we got to show that we can take over. They can let go a little bit. They can release some of that power onto us. We can handle it. They don't need to parent us anymore. But the only way we're going to do that is by showing them and by taking leadership roles and picking up in the, the country and the communities that we're in. Now, some people are going to have a better idea how to do this. Some people uh, might have... a uh, grandparents or parents who are already in roles of local government or even stores and, and things like that where the younger people they'll, they'll fit in just like the grandparent did or the parent did uh, others of us we don't have that um, so we gotta be out there ourselves and we gotta work on solutions ourselves and always helping and doing everything we can um, no matter how small or or big it might be, doing something and uh, solving these problems. And I, I revert a lot of ways to Bo of the Fifth Column and uh, Rule 303. If you follow him, uh, great. If you don't, you should definitely check him out. He's a fantastic YouTuber. Um, but Rule 303, if there's a problem, help. <laughs> Get involved. Fix it. And... Um, you know, it can be really small stuff, uh, but it can make a world of difference. One thing that I did yesterday, and again, I will say this, where I'm at in Kansas, it hasn't really hit. There's people nervous about it, so we can, I can still get out, and I can still go do things. So some, some of the things I'm saying might be a lot easier for me or for people in rural areas, maybe way different from New York or, you know, um, places in California, but... If you are, if you have the ability to get out, um, one thing I did, like, that I think is going to be, it's made, already made a big difference, is I called my grandma, and I said, hey, why don't you get some of your friends together, um, show up at your house, I want to teach you guys how to work the uh, Walmart app, so you can go and just pick up your groceries, and I'm going to help you guys get set up, so you can put your credit card information in online, paid that way 
you can drive up, they'll bring out your groceries, and you're out. You don't have to go in anywhere. You don't have to do anything. Your trunk is going to be the only thing that gets opened. And then, you know, we we worked, too, in that network. And it turned out to be, like, 30, 40 people. She gets involved with the church around here. She said she, she wants to do this again, have, have another group of people. At the end of the day, that could touch three to 400 people in my community. And that's a lot of people. So anything you can do is um, is a way not only to make this a better situation, but also for therapy aspect for yourself to give you, you a sense of purpose and, and that you can do something about it. Um, if you're quarantined and you can't get out at all, there's nothing you can do. Um, let me tell you, one thing people are starving for is entertainment. For those people who cannot leave, there's only so many episodes of The Office you can watch, um, and new, fresh stuff is, is, it's paramount. You know, I, myself, I get so bogged into news and current events that it just, it gets you depressed. Last night, I was, like, I was watching, um, uh, YouTube videos on, on video game reviews. I spent, like, two hours watching reviews on video games, and it was a breath of fresh air, so... You have that ability to do that. Do that. If you're a musician, play some music. Record it. Put it up. We can all do something. Um, and if you have absolutely no skills whatsoever, or let's say your skills just do not um, translate into a situation that will help, um, understand that, again, if you're not quarantined, Get a hold of uh, Meals on Wheels and stuff like that. You can volunteer your time and you can do a lot within your community. Uh, but another thing that you can do is called Folding at Home. And it's folding the at, mark, or, uh, at symbol and home. And here, you literally what happens is, and you would be a huge part in finding vaccine and treatment for the coronavirus. Um what it does is it allows uh, research departments to use your your excess uh, computer uh, computing power, and then build this basically giant boost of computing power to help them. Um, I think it. I think it's like I think it's folds proteins. I'm not exactly sure what it does to be honest. I just know that like. And this I got from both of his column. Um, it, it's going to help, like because it gives a lot of research departments more computing power, which is what they need. One of the things they need. So there's there's always something you can do. Um, I myself, right now, I'll just be trying to do these videos, keeping everyone updated on how things are going. Um, I decided not to do something real depressing today. Um, I might end up doing a more depressing thing tonight. Um, but I, I did just want to get that message out there. Uh, if I get quarantined, who knows? I might start doing uh, sports or video game reviews or something in between the updates. But it's important that we all get out and do something. And if you are in that 18 to 40-year-old range, this is our time. It's our time to show that we're, we're more than just vindictive and petty and all of those things no we can be leaders and we can make a difference and um, make sure to any con contact you have with elderly people make sure you're wearing a mask they don't have to be but you should because you don't know if you're contagious and that'll at least stop that um anyway guys that's it for me um really interested on any of your thoughts was not by the way for any of you who listened to Bo, not trying to take his thing um, but you should definitely check him out. He kind of inspired some of this within me. Um, and again, Bo, the fifth column. But yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys think, any of your input on, uh, what are some good ideas? Because that's one thing, that's what a lot of this channel is about. It's about creating a community of ideas. And, um, I'm not the community. <laughs> you know, all you, all my listeners and everyone together, where we make that community. This is the time. You know how 
throw up whatever you got that you think could help. We can work on it together, and maybe some of these things we can actually adopt into our into you know into our into our communities to help make things better. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Stay healthy. I really hope every one of you who listens to this is doing well and everything is fine in your world. Take care. I will talk to you tonight, probably.